There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city. Being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him. Every day. Did you see? It said Monday, but there was no date on it. Even though every time we play as Richard, Simon always says, Good evening, Richard. It is currently, you know, Monday, January 11th, blah, 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 blah. No date, no year, nothing. Very suspicious. And then, eh, starting to not get a good feeling about this. All this forced positivity is starting to feel, well, forced. <laughs> Yeah, everything is just catering to me. Why? Henry, are you still here? Can I talk to you? Necklace for Amy. Tracer, possibly dangerous. Please contact a member of City 5 security. I can still call my lawyer. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. A non-holographic doctor. Hey, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Are you done? For today. We will see him tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Another appointment? Should I be concerned? concerned? Absolutely not. No need to worry. The clinic's responsibility is to accompany patients under 12 years of age for two weeks with their recovery. In John's case, it could even be a few more days. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. I'm getting a really eerie feeling about this whole thing. What's wrong with John? John, who shares a lot of interests and giftedness with James. Neurologist. My personal GP, health advisor, and friend, a neurologist. Now, why would such a person be your friend, be a close friend? Well, I feel like it's most likely because you have a file with him. So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. What kind of questions? Doctor patient confidentiality. <laughs> okay. I'm your dad. You should feel okay to tell me about that. It's kind of hurts me a little bit that you wouldn't want to tell me, actually. No? Alright. I wonder about everybody here. Amy is online. Do we want to call her? Where was Amy just now anyway? Like, was she at work or... Okay, we're not gonna take the rail car. Let's take the hover car. If I'm right, this is probably gonna bring us back to right outside our house. Did you get stuck, kid? Not coming? It's not even my car, it's just some car. I'd rather take the train. Okay. Oh. You're right. One accident is enough. Okay. Wait, the accident came from us taking the train though, didn't it? Or maybe we'll call your mother first. Adam, where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. That was a fast conversation. It's pretty. Pretty artificial. I just don't get a good, like, mm, when I look at this place, it doesn't give me the feeling that, oh, if I, if I take a deep breath here, my lungs will be filled with nice, natural air. Stuart. Copywriter. The present. My best friend. Adam, I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. <laughs> what can I say? Without you, my independence areas are half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Conspiracy theory? Sounds like layman. Who else? So, what is your theory? You got a twin brother. Um... Uh... No. Well, then my theory is crap. Although, it took quite a while to answer. Tomorrow, you're coming in. Shaved and showered. Got it? Uh, got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. <gasps> Wait, I just realized his last name. New man? Is that alluding to something? Nolan? Newman? Adam Newman? Richard Nolan? Oh. I feel like I'm very suspicious of everything right now. <laughs> but that didn't even make any sense though. He was like, why are you in bed sick without any bruises? Because I have a twin brother? I don't think Richard is my twin, but I do feel very wary about the whole relationship between us. There's two sets of men, two sets of wives, two sets of sons. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. <laughs> that's... that's not a good sign. My son doesn't want to confide in me. Very sad. Okay, I already got that. Hey, you're new. Cocktail bar. Satisfied? We'd love to hear your feedback. An old-fashioned as usual, sir? Or can I tempt you with a sunrise? You once had this horrible cocktail. <sighs> we have Batita, City 2 Sunrise, Daiquiri, Gin, Mai Tai, Old Fashioned, Sour, and Vesper. No, it had a different name. <sighs> Are you unsatisfied with selection? No, no, it's just... Sir? No. <laughs> Maybe I'm confusing it with some other place. No, something's wrong. I think he was remembering Richard's memories. Explain to our viewers why this project is so important. Oh. Well, didn't you feel the earthquake today? There was an earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> the technical term is geohazard. Now, I don't want to bore your viewers with all the technical details. <laughs> I don't understand most of it myself. <laughs> but the... Exploitation of natural resources, the thing that has made our Earth so scarily unstable over the past years. Project Independence will solve all those problems. Forever. Sounds like a lot of work. Simultaneously, we will reveal an impressive new landmark of our city. A little sister of our dome, so to speak. Uh, but that's all I'm gonna say right now. Will the barriers to the outer regions be lifted then? After a short transitional phase, until then, it is still forbidden to leave the city, I'm afraid. This Sunday. This Sunday, the 19th of January. You won't forget the date. It'll soon be in every history book. Governor, thank you for your time. That was Governor Kane with an update on Project Independence. Coming up, Ryoko Emilia and the Sunshine Sonata. Okay, hold up. I am look- Whoa, that changed back to a freaking statue. 19th of January. Next Sunday. Is that what they said? I am looking up a 2048 calendar right now. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's true. And it's Monday right now. And they said next Sunday, which means today must be... It's astonishing how much we don't know. What we ignore. January 13th. We hold on to what we are, that we stop believing in what we could be. But there is only one question in this world that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Sometimes, hurtful things happen to us. Things like your accident. What? Things that you would rather forget. And now, you can. Oh. The Aided Memento Center replaces your bad memories. Risk-free, pain-free, and always reversible. Contact us for more information about our Memento program. Start a new, better life. Okay, that's very suspicious. We can replace our bad memories? Well, according to what I just looked up, Monday. Today should be January 13th. So it's in the future. 
in comparison to what we're seeing with Richard. Oh, that's weird. Come and visit Liquid Sky. We should keep that in mind. That's weird. You there? Do you like art? Oh, you're an actor. Hello. Any plans for Sunday? Liquid Sky is unveiling a new artwork. Oh. I think Amy said something about that. You should definitely go. It's worth it. John, do you want to let a light bulb fly? No. Oh, come on. It's fun. Sure. Give me one. Oh. It just flies away. Henry's chasing it. Goodbye, light ball. What value does life have when everything is possible? When there are no boundaries? Well, life has the value that you choose to give it. Assist in designing your city. Join the World Union Creation Program. Your ideas are our future. How did they make it so that the hologram appears and then the statue comes back and stuff? Like, how does that technology work? <gasps> Is that, like, supposed to be me and my son or something? I, uh, that guy has a fedora on. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna try going to work. I highly doubt it'll work. Ha! But just uh, just to give it a try. You have been granted a sick Yo, day, I already Adam. tried last time. Okay. Another one? Another light bulb, please. Does this cost money? <laughs> How long can I? Oh. Got some nice music going on. That's nice, I guess. Miss Patrick is gone. Why is my son such a. I don't know, he didn't seem interested in anything. It's kind of sad. Hover car makes us go back to. Train? Okay. Train. Yeah, my son doesn't like the car. Because it reminds him of the accident? A car accident? Welcome home, Adam Newman. New entries on my pin board. John? Adam? Mom? Hi, honey. Or should I say Amy? Because apparently that's what we do around here. Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. Adam, what is the square root of 169? 13. 13. Fantastic, Adam. Next question. Not now, Henry. Later, maybe? Ooh, I still got it. With the high school math. John's skills exceed by far the expectations for his age. City 5 will be very proud of your son, Adam. City 5? Sounds so generic. A circle. Hmm. That's a really weird circle. Especially considering how there's no circles in this world. Wanna try the magic piano again? See, no matter how I play it, it sounds much better than when Nolan played it. <laughs> hey, bring back the music. I want it. Yeah. Amy? John's development. Introverted. Talks little. 
Wait, that was on Tuesday. Last Tuesday? We didn't have this. The last time we looked at the board. Whoa, I feel like the dates are really confusing me. Tuesday? Well, that's gotta be like six days ago at least. Yeah. Okay, so it's Tuesday today. And then tomorrow. The nanny's coming in tomorrow. Wednesday. It's not Monday today. But why did it keep saying it was Monday then? Oh. That is weird. That is weird. Can't use my hub. Son? Honey? Yeah, the nanny will be here by tomorrow. And it said on the board that the nanny is coming in on Wednesday. But it keeps telling me that today is Monday. <gasps> I'm... what? I don't feel like that's an oversight. It just seems so deliberate that whenever we play Richard, they tell us exactly what time it is. But whenever we play this guy, it doesn't. I'm in full-on tinfoil hat mode right now. <laughs> Memory lane. Luther. Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? I am. Easel. Begun on Saturday morning. Hey, that's gonna be good. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> a gigantic unicorn. I think this one here might be like the... I don't know what animal it is, but that's the one from Heavy Rain too, isn't it? But then all of these other ones... Hmm. Oh, there's more here. Hmm. Statues? Okay. Informational architect. Amy loves you. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, my wife. Ah! Here, uh, this... Well, I thought you'd... For me? Oh, it's so... Did you get this from the jewelry assembler down the street? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I just thought... Uh... No, it's... It's really sweet. Greek fret. Yeah, it has, um... Yeah. Thank you, Adam. You're a darling. Oh, thank you, wife. Don't be so hard on me, please. You're looking less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Ah, uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. What? I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. That was a little bit of a strange conversation. It seemed like my wife was kind of confused. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. So... A nanny. Am I such a bad father? No, I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. <laughs> oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again, I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. Okay. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. My wife called me a dud. How am I supposed to feel about that? <laughs> Still trying to think of all the, the dates in my head so far. I guess there's no use thinking about it too much. Hey, John. Is everything really okay? Why? Nothing. Keep playing. Good night then, John. Night. 
It's like bright daylight right now. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. Want to check the news before we go to sleep? Oh, there's no news here. Holograms and stuff. Uh, by this uh, jungle. Ooh. There's only fish holograms though. Fish in the jungle. Does that make you happier? I hope so. So my kid is seven. Hmm. James... James is five? No. There were pictures on the wall in Richard's apartment of when... Um, yeah, when James drew it when he was five. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's five right now, no. Well, I guess that's that. Hmm, this seems a little bit sinister. Monday. How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a- No. Steve? Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Many Central called us. To... We were worried about you. I bet you were. S seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh, yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Why do I want to talk to Steve? Your hollow pinboard shows clues and current objectives. Okay. Oh. Are you looking for something? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth. <laughs> I think that's, um, whenever we need something, we just go talk to him. But right now, we just need to go to our hollow pin board. Where is James? Tracy isn't with her parents. Where is my son? Man in the apartment. Who visited Tracy in the apartment? I need Steve's help to read out Simon's module. So right now, it's apparently Monday, January 13th. And we know that in Adam's timeline, it's a Monday, and it's the Monday before the Sunday that's January 19th, which means it should be the same Monday. But again, why do they make it so specific here and so vague over there? It's strange. Tracy got herself scanned for the Mars colony. Yeah. Scan. It's gotta do with Mars. Am I on Mars? Actually, that would kind of make sense, right? Because not Richard. Richard might be on Earth, but what if Adam is on Mars? Because my son was saying, oh, look, it's just a geohazard, not an earthquake, because it wasn't an earthquake, like I said before. That's a thought. Well, anyway, I'm guessing everything around here is still the same as usual. Not gonna go back to sleep anytime soon. Whoa, is that new? No, that's just random cargo. Okay. <laughs> Do you really have to follow me every single step of the way? Oh my goodness. Did you clean up? You did. Thanks. Didn't fix the mirror yet, though. Maybe you want to go help me buy a replacement or something? Still no word of them, sir. No. I apologize. Perhaps we should try- We should try nothing. Hmm. No, we should try some things. I got your memory module, right? Steve is... Module? This module belongs to a humanoid bot. Steve is my... co-worker at The Voice. A research editor. Right, and he's Jennifer's husband. Right, right. Uh, is the news the same again today? 
A news flash from The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there's been yet another bombing attack on yeah. Kurtz Robotics. This has been the second attack of its kind within the last few days. Stop. This has been the second attack. <laughs> the news really should be updated every single day, but doesn't seem like they do that around here. It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. That's a picture of Steve. And Jennifer and Tracy, but not me on the picture. That's a little sad. Yeah, and there's my uh, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law. Anything else? Can I actually have food this time? The following ingredients are missing to assemble this product. God damn it. Honey, wheat, palm oil. God damn it. Can't have nice things around here. Mm, Tracy's room? Nope. Nope. Well, can I just go see Steve then? Yes. Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've gotta go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Thanks. West Plaza. Much more grungy and dark looking, especially in comparison to Adam's very nice, white, clean Infinity Plaza. There's just way too many parallels across the two places and the two men's lives. The voice, the present, the plazas, the apartments. Really bizarre. They must be connected somehow. How? One is on Earth, one is on Mars. Something over there. This vehicle is the property of Cab Car Inc. Use at your own risk. Cab Car Inc. takes no responsibility for damage to person or property. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Interested? Marset Inc. is taking applications now. Valid nano scan required. You know, when they say scan, what do they actually mean? Because up until now, I've been assuming, oh, I gotta get checked to make sure that I'm medically well enough to travel to Mars. But is it more like a soma sort of thing where I'm getting my brain scanned and, and then it's getting sent to Mars? Because if that's the case, that actually opens up a lot more possibilities for, you know, what's going on right now. Similarities between Adam and Richard? Hmm. Could Adam possibly be a scan of Richard? Bot stole my job. Felix Anders. Bob took your job. Where did you work? <laughs> In a bot factory. What? The bots are assembling themselves now? A bit more complex than that. But I needed something catchy for the sign. Sorry, I uh, only have this bar here. My assembler's acting up. Oh, thanks, sir. You're a saint. Um. I don't even know where I got that bar from, but I'm glad that it helps you out even just a little bit. There's a lot of homeless people around here. There is a few over there too. Mars, our future. By the Martian colonist on I don't know what that is. You are helping create a new world. Start afresh. Decide the future. Hey man, hold up. Yo. Passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Chase here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Can you open my memory module? No? Wait, <laughs> don't I know you? Jace? As in Jason? Jason was the third name they let me say for my son's name. That scares me. <laughs> what does it say? Die... Die... Oh, is this German? Hold up. Blue room. 
Latest in smartware. That just looks really edgy. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's German. Like, the... Neuen... The Neuen Heron? The new... I don't know what Heron is. Kiosk. Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. That's really fast. Nanoscan cell. This cell is the property of the governments. Please allow, please follow all instructions given by the police. Any damage caused to the cell is punishable by law. Oh, why would you not want to do it? Unless if you're a technology hater, like Richard. Breakpoint. Fight with us. Oh, we saw this graffiti. Somebody was graffitiing this in the very, very beginning cutscene. Illegal print item. This item does not fall in accordance with the registration and safety guidelines of the United States of the West. Owning and distributing this item is prohibited. Registration of this item is required by law. Uh, should I pick that up? <laughs> is that gonna be bad for me? Breakpoint. Guess I'm taking it. I can't get myself scanned. Go get scans. At least one of us might have a chance. Yeah, you, you won't even notice. Look at the radiologists. You have to fulfill some sort of special requirements to go to Mars. Makes sense. Yeah, it's not something that everybody can do. My wife got a triple A rating on this. Huh. Nano scan. And there's the moon runes again. You know, they, they wrote it in a really, really weird way, though. It's definitely not written by someone who knows Japanese, and a Japanese person probably would not be able to read it. It's like they just started mashing M-O-O-N-R-U-N-E-S on a Japanese keyboard, but then even then, not quite exactly. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Kiosk? There's even a statue here. Does this one turn? Randy Schulzheimer. Big pack? Mm hmm. Ha! At least some us keeping this business alive. Didn't you leave for Mars? Make a new start and all that? Yeah, Nolan. I got myself scanned. I guess that's stupid to you. I do have my principles. And I do have quite a mortgage. Wait, this guy's saying he got scanned, but he's still here. So does that mean that he got scanned and the scan went to Mars? That seems very Soma-ish. Maybe he just hasn't packed up yet, because if so, if that actually is what happened, then where's my wife? Where is my wife? Oh, anarchy symbols. Sir, do you have children? Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. I don't have time. Sir, you should consider taking the time. See, the statue here doesn't turn, but the one on Adam's side does. Cause, maybe it's all holographic. A holographic Mars? There's my workplace. That's it. Welcome, Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor 247. Work! Being... The... I can't read that. <laughs> that edgy sci-fi font. I can't read it. This building is under surveillance. <gasps> but I have the... I picked up that breakpoint poster on me. Is that gonna be okay? Are they gonna confiscate it? Yet another bombing attack. Oh, they're writing out the news. Yeah, the font kind of reminds me of um, a rock radio station. <laughs> Troy. Good morning. Morning. 
Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh-huh. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. It's morning right now? It doesn't look like it at all from the outside. I thought it was like 9 in the nighttime. Richard, come on, let's take a look at you. Hi, Carrie. Schmidt, news analyst. Carrie, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Oh, that's very nice of her. Hey, you, you look good. You should go to the hospital more often. <laughs> but rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. Are they replacing me? Uh, let's be a little bit of... Uh, it's my best friend, right? What do you mean you've got Troy now? Is he gonna pay my rent too? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Listen, Steve, I've gotta talk to you. It's about Tracy. You're not splitting up, are you? What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a, uh... Just a what? What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight. It happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Everyone's been gossiping behind my back. Look. Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents, she's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. <laughs> he doesn't care. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. A base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. To eavesdrop on me. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. That's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Okay. Didn't you have to get to Frank? Richard? I'm ready. I didn't say I was ready. Jeez. Richard? I'm ready. Okay! Everyone likes to hurry me up here. 